Hey guys, how are you? This is Kai Satusi, and today I'm here with a great artist known for his work in Sculpted and Follow and Goddammit and more a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm here with the great R.M. Gira. Did I pronounce it right? That's it, that's it. You, you pronounced it very good, Caio. I, I don't know how to pronounce your two first names. It's, it's oh, it, the roots are so different from, from anything in the world. Yeah. It's a Slavic root, so it's Raiko. Milosevic, Raiko, oh, Raiko Milosevic, Raiko Milosevic, and and if you know if you want to know the secret of Slav languages, we don't have music, we don't have uh, accents in our yeah. uh, languages. So if you imitate Italian, you will say ta na 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 na. You know what I mean? It's, so yeah. it, it's not not existent in in Slavic languages, but we have uh, letter combinations, ch ch z, you know those letters. So yeah. Milosevic. And my Perfect. second surname is Juricic, so it's very funny. okay. Gera is my nickname. Everybody calls me Gera. It's not my surname. Gera, yeah. you can call me Gera. Just straight Gera. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. So, uh, Mr. Gera, to start, the question is always the same: Who are you? Oh man, it's the most difficult question you can. Ask. <laughs> Only somebody this young can ask questions like this. Oh God. <laughs> Everybody say that. I think no, no. I think you should ask people who know me, or look at my work, or whatever. It's difficult to. Uh, uh, I look. I, I. I. I present myself as somebody who can communicate and talk and are friendly, but in fact, I can't. I don't understand myself. Yeah. I don't uh, know how to analyze myself correctly. You know, yeah. maybe. If I if I could do something like that, I wouldn't be making art. Yeah. So you know there is in that rabbit hole there is a lot. So I I don't know who I am. You can uh, you decide whatever the answer could be because it's uh, whatever I say too much is going to be missing. Yeah, it's a very complicated question. Yeah. You know, the simple ones are the hardest ones. Oh, I think I think that it's great, right? It's, it's great. It's a complicated question, so I, I think it's a good question. So that that's okay. So okay, so let's let's start talking about your career. Uh, yeah. For who don't know, uh, Mr. Gera is Serbian, right? So yeah. uh, I have to ask: Did you use it to publish comics on Serbia? How how is the the comic industry there? Uh, the, the, in Serbia, I was very known in, in Serbia, in ex Yugoslavia, actually. Yeah. And I had some awards, and uh, but it's a socialist country. You are very famous, you give interviews, and you don't have money to buy cigarettes or something <laughs> like that. So it, it was very, this um, discrepancy, this, this hole was getting bigger with each day in my life. So sooner or later, I decided to go out. Yeah. The war that happened in Balkans just... Uh, made me go out earlier, I suppose, something like that, or gave me more strength to go out. But uh, it wasn't possible um, to live out of purity of your talent or, or out of purity of execution of your talent. Yeah. Nobody. The worst of everything was that I knew so much about this and nobody needs it. Yeah. That was horrible. That yeah. part was really hard and i was you know i had awards and things and and but nobody really appreciates it uh, the, the, so the the market wouldn't was existent and not existent very i just can't stand anything uh socialist yeah <laughs> if, yeah if we can not, we shouldn't go to those subjects that sound serious but it's just uh it's perverse uh, it's i i um it just only on page people are, are how should I say this? Uh, very, it, it was difficult there. I just don't know. It, it's a huge subject. Uh, I can't put it in a few words. But yeah. I was ready to go out. Let's say yeah. something. But I published a lot. I was very known. I was uh, publishing wherever I could, and mostly it was magazines or reviews or, or some years I was doing. Uh, storyboards for publicity for movies for short short uh, 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 cut movies or or did uh, posters or whatever I could. Yeah. 
just yeah. trying to be to be versatile as much as I could. Yeah. To try things to have, you know gain experience. I was yeah. always doing something. How you? Okay, this question is is a little bit. I don't know how to say it. How you were discovered? You know how the the American American industry of comic books discovered you. You know. Uh, I just sent. Was I, I was publishing. I was publishing in France. Yeah. And I just sent uh, through my friend. I he gave me some personal uh, emails of known publishers like you know Marvel, DC, the whole thing, the Dark Horse, yeah. all of. Them. And uh, I sent my pages because I needed the secondary work. Uh, I needed something uh, aside of the main work that I was doing for France. Yeah. And uh, and the first thing I, I I got some very nice replies. Everybody said something very positive, like "Oh, let's, let's work." Let's. So I didn't know what to do because everybody yeah. replied. I didn't know what to do now. But uh, at the end, I kept my relation with Vertigo DC. And because it's, uh, you know, uh, Vertigo is something that, that smells uh, European, something yeah, like that. Yeah. You know, it's more my ball game, you know, ballpark. And and uh, so the first serious thing that, that Will Dennis, editor from Vertigo, offered me was Synopsis of Scalp. Yeah. And and I accepted it like, like right away. I said, wow, what is this? This is really good. You know, I said at first he offered something else, like he offered doing Batman or typical stuff. And I told him, let's do something modest first to get to know each other, how we work. Yeah. And I think that the same day he was like, what do you think about this? You know, he just <laughs> sent me scalp and I said, wow, this is really good. You know, I, I really instantly. Yeah. And the whole um, scalp story is very unusual because it happened so spontaneously so fast you wouldn't believe in in 15 days we already signed the contract and started working it was just incredible because uh, for the new series especially in america you have to wait yeah three months six months jason was waiting for a year or something and 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 this was like bam 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 and yeah. it was just yeah we, we're starting and and it was funny because i had to leave my main work from France and yeah. then my scalps because I liked sc scalp very much. It was yeah. just like, I really enjoyed it. So this is the way it happened. It was just boom, you know, out of the blue. Aren't you, okay. Aren't you tired of hearing questions about, about scalp? Yes, I mean, no way. No, I don't know what, <laughs> what to tell you. It's, it's a uh, yes and no. Uh, uh, what still impresses me about scalp is that Anybody who likes it, likes it a lot. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not just, or they, they wouldn't read it at all, or they like it a lot. There yeah. is no middle space. It's just always <laughs> something like that. So uh, it's nice, but it's uh, sometimes my face gets tired of the same questions, same things. But it's, uh, I understand, you know, um, I shouldn't be I should be happy about it because yeah. you know people are enjoying my work. It's it's a privilege, you know. For luck, I have only one question about Scop, but I, I I will okay. get there. So okay, let's talk about your career. Uh, your first comic was Elmer Jones, yeah, and in Western comic book. Yes. And a few years later you started drawing text. So Texas what writer. Yeah. Writers, yeah. 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 So, what is the importance of Western to you? You know, is that a gen generate that you you've always liked? I just I, I I grew up on westerns. Uh, yeah. when, when I was very young, uh, I always liked westerns because I always liked to draw. I can't recall the the moment zero when I first started drawing. Uh, I I I drew since I can remember myself. Yeah. I always, I always had a pencil. Always, it's just something I, I can't recall when was the day that I did it. I just yeah. always did it. So westerns, it was 70s, 60s, well, 70s, late 60s and 70s. There was explosion of westerns, and most of them were pretty bad. You know, spaghetti westerns. But everybody thinks that I like them. I don't like spaghetti westerns. Yeah. I just uh, there are a few of them that, that are okay that I really enjoy. Uh, Sergio Leone is few of them, not too many. Yeah. Uh, but it, Corbucci did something interesting, but not too much. It was just a, like a very cheap pop music. Yeah. Uh, and uh, 
and American westerns as well. You you had huge number of mediocre ones, or you know, and but the problem with western is when you have a good one, it marks you for your life. It's just incredible. Yeah, you know, you're too young. You you wouldn't know, I suppose. But uh, Treasure of Sierra Madre and and Wild Bunch uh, to this day are in my my DNA. I'm I'm you know my 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 cells are are marked with these two movies. I know mm -hmm. each frame, each each movement of the face, each sound, I, I, it was just like drinking. It was so, to me, it was really important. So yeah. uh, I tend to think that I grew up on a good Western. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like Western too, you know. So uh, I, when I was a kid, I didn't like because It wasn't my kind of movie, you know, but when I watched uh, Jungle from Quentin Tarantino, not the old one, it's, yeah, it's the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. new one. I really liked it, you know, so then I, I watched the original Jungle, it, it's incredible. So yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, really, I, really, I really like it's it. Okay. It's like a pop music. Everything is in faces and colds, you know, I get tired of it. Yeah. The ending, of, uh, ending of the good, the bad and ugly. You have this five-minute sequence of eyes, face, face, <laughs> eyes, yeah. cold, hands, hands, eyes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Would you, know, you fucking kill each other for once? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do it. You know, it's just like like an Italian, fucking Italian. It's opera, opera. Yeah. Ah, 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 you know. So uh, I never really liked it. Yeah. That part I never really. Liked. But uh, visually, it was amazing. Yeah. Visually, it's really strong. The to to to, to my mind. Pity was that they didn't uh, use this visceral visuality for something better. Yeah. Uh, Peckinpah did, Sam Peckinpah did, uh, or, or you know Arthur Penn did, did a really good one, uh, Mis Misery Breaks. You, you have you know people who knew how to use what, what spaghetti western this visceral approach brought to this genre. There is yeah. a western that I, I really would like you to see, especially because you're young. And it's incredibly serious and, and incredibly hypnotic. It's called Alzana's Raid with you, Alzana, you, Alzana's yeah. Raid. Robert Aldrich uh, directed it and, and, uh, and Alan Sharp wrote an incredible script. And if you want, to, want me to tell you a secret, there is an Indian there yeah. called Kenny Tai. The face nice. of Kenny Tai I used for Dashiell in Scalp. Yeah. That's okay? nice. Yeah. So once you see this Western, you will see an Apache, an Indian, Kenny Thai. Uh, Jorge, Jorge or Jorge Luke is the name of an actor. Yeah. And it was, it was really, really fantastic. And, and the dialogues are absolutely amazing. Only Western can give you this. There is, uh, why do you like Western when you like one? What is um, it that you like there? I, I don't know. I, I, lo I love horses, you know, so I like it. I like The, the visual, you know, the Action. visual, yeah. the, 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 I don't know, the clothes, uh, it's, it's the visual, it puts me on this atmosphere, you know, so. Well, once you, it's, it's, you know, it's similar, when I was young, I was thinking about these things, but with time, I discovered what I really liked, and it, it hit me very hard, I didn't know this is why I liked Westerns, it's because uh, I connected because in westerns you are alone yeah and it's very it's very serious subject because once in life you understand that actually you really are alone and and it matters what you do who you are and western can offer you this yeah this loneliness that at the end the decision is always yours nobody else's you know yeah so there is this this um purity in horses Uh, wild surroundings, uh, you know, you are, you really are um, obviously alone in Western. And this is what I really was a magnet to me. Uh, yeah. I really liked that part. Yeah. This is what to me was, uh, you, I, I didn't know why when I was like you, uh, 16 or yeah. something. But uh, I didn't know why. But it was always very uh, um, hypnotic to me. Yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah, it's the same to me. So okay, that, that, that's really nice. Do you wish make some author comic with this atmosphere Western someday or something like that? Okay. Yes, I, actually I am doing it right now. It's called 
Uh, I, I can't tell you right now because I'm not allowed to announce it, but uh, around, I think around winter of this year, it will be uh, a Western that I'm doing for Urban Comics Dargo. Oh, that's nice. For, for France and, and uh, okay. Oh, that's, oh my God. That's so nice. That's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Whoa. Uh, that's very interesting. No one shows me some page <laughs> never. So <laughs> I, I'm really excited now, you know. So, so I'm, 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 uh, I'm trying to go back to Westerns because this is what I am. Uh, yeah. uh, Scalp is a Western. Yeah. And, and I, I especially enjoyed the ending. There is a page. I, I hope you will remember or readers would. Uh, when there is a page of four panels where you can see Dashiell just being alone. Yeah. Just thinking about and looking at his village and then the whole, you know, the reservation. And, and, and I always enjoyed that, that part because, you know, and then uh, being a Slav, I, I suppose I like uh, being melancholic or, or this seriousness inside of one. I don't know. It could be, could be uh, the, because I'm a Slav, I'm a Serb. You yeah. Know? So there is something there. You know, could be, you know, but I, uh, you know, this, um, maybe this will sound funny. You're young, I don't know, but I enjoy company of myself. Yeah, yeah, I do. You know, I, yeah, when I I'm alone, I'm, I'm really good. I, I don't need anything, you know, yeah. I just, it's, it's, you know, so this could be telling. I don't know. So um, defining this or telling you what I really think about it, I, I couldn't. Yeah, I just don't. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know. Um, I don't define myself. Yeah. I don't understand myself. You know. Yeah, yeah perfect. I, I do my. I, I do enjoy my my. You're company so too. young. You're so. I don't. I speak uh, to you as as an adult. So you know. No, I'm trying to understand, and this is being the classes, you know. So I, I'm I, I'm really you're enjoying. Okay. Oh, okay. So I have to to. Uh, it's not scope yet so i have to talk about one thing i don't like okay that is heroes reborn i have to talk about this series the original series you know i really don't okay. like it so last year it was last year i think yes but last year's marvel was making an special yeah uh, i did series. one uh, episode yeah yeah exactly to celebrate 30 years of heroes reborn and yeah. you worked only in one one edition yeah. so i have to ask Have you ever read the original series? And what? Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, what convinced you to make this comic? Oh, because it's Jason, and I, and oh, I had okay. this this time, and I always like to work with him. And he was like, "Listen, would you like to have you know?" Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. And then he told me, "Listen, all of them they're going to be in 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 a manicomio, the the crazy how the lunatic lunatic asylum." I said, "Wow, great!" You know, yeah. I I enjoyed it incomparably more than doing Batman. I did two episodes of Batman. I, I, I it just uh, the script wasn't for me. I, I really enjoy Batman, and sooner or later, I think Jason and me we're gonna make our version of it, and I will enjoy it. But uh, if the script is not, uh, how should it? It's not bad, but it's not good. Yeah. So, you know, and with Jason, okay. I enjoy doing anything. It's just yeah. we're like like really like family. So you know, whatever he. He said, I have this, you know, would you like me? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, yeah cool. he's he's one of these writers that I trust, you know. Uh, I, I I know that if I, I take a comic and has his name there, I can take it as Alan Moore. As... There is one thing. He works way, way too much. I think he should slow down. He works yeah. a lot. This is like a barbaric number of things that he wrote. It's just I, I really think he needs to just a little bit, just yeah. a little bit. Uh, it's it's on the horizon. He told me if you want to know uh, exclusive uh, news of Jason, uh, I, I think this year it's possible that we meet somewhere, maybe in Spain, nice. and just talk, uh, spend a few days, and and you know plan things for the future. And and he's a great guy. He's a you know he's a so uh, uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. But yeah. I did it because of him, because he called me and said, would you like it? Yeah, of course, yeah, whatever you like. Yeah, that's nice. I, I really imagine it because uh, there's Jason Aaron and you're always together. And I have a question about it. 
I will get there. Yes. So, yeah. uh, but but okay, you didn't read uh, uh, the original Heroes Reborn. I have to say it's sad. It's sad to all fans of comics. Did you ever? So did uh, stop, stop, stop. so did you enjoy the new one or you didn't? I I didn't read yet. Ah, didn't read. Okay, didn't read. Didn't okay. read. Yeah, I, it was published in Brazil. I don't know in last month, and I have I don't have money right now, so okay. I'm waiting. So, but but I I will I will probably I will take it. So, uh, okay. What is it that you didn't like about the first the original series? Rob Liefeld. That's the name. <laughs> you know. I, Rob. Rob. Liefeld. Who who is that? Don't you know him? Okay, he. Uh, he created the image with the the oh how's the name how's his name I re- I forgot it uh, the creator of Spawn I oh my God Todd I, McFarlane Todd McFarlane I, I, I'm just so absent of superheroes I know uh, just basics of superhero I'm not oh, into it that, that's that's very nice because uh, you don't do superheroes. You know, it's not your. I'd your like book. to, but I need yeah. a script. Uh, uh, <laughs> what I dislike uh, of superheroes is there are hundreds of them now. <laughs> yes. It's just to stop it for once. You know, it's yeah. just. I had recently. I had this a bit serious in Madrid. There was a serious interview with with people, and and uh, uh, did you read Akira? No, I didn't. But I I had. So once had... you read it, once you read it, try to remember this. Okay. To my mind, Akira was a natural next step for superheroes. Ooh, okay. okay. Yeah. If you work on it, if you have a new idea and you develop something, then it's Akira. It's something like that. It's nice. Instead of that, you have the same old, uh, it's like a formula of, of superheroes. Yeah. Yeah. They have these. So uh, I, I need something. Um, you always have this melodramatic excuse for them to be superheroes. Yeah. And it's just it, it's it's beyond boring. Uh, this is the way the the old westerns went to, to shit because everybody was using the same thing: revenge, revenge pistols. But you know his wife is uh, raped. It's just horrible. It's just boring. You know, it's yeah. the same thing all over again. So uh, uh, I think that uh, the main problem is that uh, publishing houses editorials, agencies, whomever, mm-hmm. they treat audience as children. Yeah. And I'm against it. As you can see, I talk with you as, as, you, <laughs> as you being adult. Uh, I don't like it because I think they're insulting your intelligence, your emotional intelligence. So I try to treat you and people like you as the uh, equals. Yeah, you yeah. Know, you, uh, if you're not grown up right now, you will you will be very soon. Yeah. So I'm trying to be sincere, not to, uh, you know. So uh, it's just too many of them. Yeah. Too many. It's just uh, uh, I don't know what I'm. What am I buying? Which group is which? Who is the X Men? Who is the? I, it's all the same cake. Yeah. You know. <laughs> this is so. Uh, uh, I need some kind of refreshment from that. Yeah, because it's just that I need to be convinced, like scalp, like whatever the the uh, you know, when you read this kind of synopsis that Jason made of scalp, it wasn't a perfect synopsis. People think yeah. that it was the best synopsis. No, it wasn't perfect, but it had heart. Yeah, he was telling me something. He wanted to say something with this synopsis, and if if. If you would understand what I'm saying right now, I understood what this synopsis needs from me. Yeah. What it doesn't have, I can offer something this needs and doesn't have. So, so this is inspiring. You can see somebody wishing to tell you something. Yeah. And when I receive, you know, Batman Eternal, or you know, it's just a very generic. Everything is the same. I don't know who is this girl, who is that girl. He's this guy is using this mask. The other guys, it's just <laughs> all the same. Yeah. You know, so so yeah, I go into it. I, I try to do a nice job, but I don't enjoy it. And and I I'm afraid it can be sensed on yeah. my pages. My pages are it's a good art. I know how to do my work. Yeah. 
But when I do something and I enjoy myself, you can sense it. You can see. Yeah. So okay, as you don't know him, I will I will search. Uh, he Rob Life is a man who who um he, who creates the image the the image with uh, uh, Eric Larson and and uh, Todd McFarlane. And there's one art that's from from Heroes Reborn. I'm trying to find it. Heroes Reborn, Captain America. I don't know if you if you never saw it, but oh, okay. Where where Can is that? Can you show now? it to me on a camera? Yeah, I'm trying to here. Okay, is this Robbie Lifeford who makes Heroes Reborn? Yeah. I, I won't say anything. I'm, I will just. just... <laughs> yeah, exactly. That that's that's the art. You know, that's. I I don't know what to say. It's it's amateur. It's 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 a very a uh, uh, nice work he was he's trying very hard but uh it's not professional yeah. uh, so uh you have like a factory of, yeah. of so many artists and 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 they're desperate to to make it to the movies or to make it's just so uh based on a, on a fast money commercial money so you lose the heart of this yeah the, the exactly. point of this is for you to enjoy and to I, I okay um i'm not trying to make it too easy on the yeah. reader okay okay the reader must come to me as well okay mm -hmm. so we we, sh we must meet and then we can enjoy yeah you know ourselves yeah you know uh, uh, it must not be everything like like uh like so simplistic and and like a formula like like uh you know, this is supposed to be something you enjoy doing, not working. Yeah. And this to me looks like a very, very hard work that somebody has to do. Yeah. You know, and, and when you see great masters like, like I don't know if you know these guys, but Noel Sickless or Joe Hubert or, or yeah, guys, or you can sense that he's enjoying every drawing he's enjoyed. Jack Kirby. Yeah, yeah, Jack Kirby. Yeah, Jack Kirby. Was, I I did an homage to him. He he was really uh, great. Uh, he never influenced me, but I always respected him because, okay, in his drawings you will see him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That, that's, so that's this true. is what matters. This is this extra part that that uh, uh, I call honesty. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> 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 so uh I, I agree with you you know uh, some the, the last years the last couple years the last few years uh, the comics you know it, it's hard to find something that it's really good and uh, yeah that that's sad you know that's just you have sad. one you have incredible talent in Brazil and two years ago I couldn't come to uh, to attend the show here I was really too busy and he came here Rafael Grampa he is absolutely yeah. fantastic. This is, is yeah. this is how it should be done. It has everything, yeah. but he's fucking lazy. He's <laughs> not doing <laughs> Yeah, he is. You know, but he's extra. He's really good. There are people, Denis Baudard for Belgium, uh, uh, Stuart Nimonen, he, he can be really yeah. good. Um, I know him. Uh, uh, um, Benjamin Flau, he's fantastic. There is, he's a... Uh, I think he's uh, uh, by origin he's Portuguese, but he's he's a French guy. He's really really good. So from time to time people appear and you enjoy it. It's just so good. But they are being drowned with this huge quantity of mediocre. Yeah. Ones, yeah. You know? So I'm sorry. I I, uh, I I it's not personal. I don't uh, yeah, I know. dislike anybody personally, but it's just it's what I'm saying. It's obvious. Yeah. It's nothing new. Everybody knows this. You know. Yeah. 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 I I, I really understand it. Uh, because you know, all the comics I buy today, it's just old comics. Old comics. You know, it's ju just things yeah. that I I know that I will like it. I uh, I usually don't buy the things that is it's on comic shops now. You know, it's it's being published. I don't. I will. I won't take it now. You know. I won't. I will take it in two years or three years. Yeah. yeah. There's always the same. Uh, Tom King is making and an really good work. 
with vision that he made the the Mr. Miracle too. So he is one of these these writers that there's a heart there, you know. And yeah, that, Rube that, Baker is good. We Rube need Baker, good writers. Yeah. Rube Baker uh, is really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading Kill or Be Killed. I don't know if you read, but wow, that's that's very nice. I, mean, I didn't. I, I'm so absent. I don't have time. I would like yeah. to read, it, but I don't have time. Yeah, I'm yeah. so busy, you know. This comic. But I would like to read it. It's yeah. very very good. Yeah, it's, it's about one one guy that tried to kill his, himself, and the the devil comes to him and he said, "Oh, you you tried it, so now you will kill people, kill bad people to me." And that's nice, you know. That's that's very interesting. I'm I'm really enjoying. So okay, okay. <laughs> let let's back to to the question. Go back to the interview. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now the only question about sculpt sculpted. I don't know how to pronounce it, right? Sculpt. Sculpt. Okay. Sculpt. Okay. Sculpt. Okay. Thank Shoot. you so much. Don't worry about it. Shoot, please. Ask. Okay. Uh, so, um, Scalpin is one of your is one of the work you're most known for, right? So, how important we we were talking about this a few minutes ago, but how important was this work in your life? What is what it has changed in all your career? You know, it's changed everything. Yeah, everything for Jason and for me. Uh, anything we do next, it will be compared to Scalp. It's uh, it's that kind of. Uh, work that it happens once in a lifetime. Uh, uh, I, how should I say, it, it, it just changed everything for the better. And uh, But it was very, very intense work of five and, and a half years. Incredibly intense. It was, I didn't, for five and a half years, I didn't have one day of vacation, one day. So it was really intense. And, you know, I, I knew you know, this is going good and we enjoyed ourselves. So uh, it's just... Uh, how we were i suppose all of us knew that we were lucky that we found each other yeah yeah julia the colorist she's just amazing she uh, she's it's like a family you know so it it's, it was like uh how should i say this editor eventual assistant uh colorist jason and me so it's four of us maybe yeah. five so they imagine like a like a table and everybody puts ideas on yeah. that table and anybody who needs something takes it from that table yeah. and that's it you know so it nice. was very very we were very lucky because it was like a, uh everything was fitting somehow and i suppose this is what work shows yeah you can see in pages that we are enjoying each other's talents you know and that that's that's beautiful too because uh, yeah because when when the the people really really enjoy what they are doing the thing is always better yeah so that that's really really nice because we we have a lot of artists that even don't talk about don't don't talk with the the writer the writer send him the script the the, sure. the artist draws and that's it. So horrible. I, I had those experiences and I, I really dislike them. It's just, uh, I always try to adapt to change, to uh, adjust, to uh, to move dialogue from this page to that page. And they're like, they're shocked. No, no, no. <laughs> it's funny, but they would, yeah. many times they said, no, we paid the script already. <laughs> so, so? <laughs> and, yeah. And, you know, yeah. so what? You know, so in, in Italy, I had this with Bonelli, not such a happy ending of the whole thing with Tex Wheeler. But the script writer, uh, he was really, uh, he uh, uh, he understood that it, we can enjoy each other. So he was yeah. changing things and we, we readapted. So we had fun. Yeah. And it, it's always, uh, you can sense it on a page. You can yeah. sense that, yeah. you know, and, and as a contrast, I don't know, when I received the script of Batman or some French script that I received from the poor, you know, it's just, uh, it's so cold and, and there is, you're just, okay, uh, when I have master class, I always say our job is not to illustrate. Yeah. Our job is to express. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, so it's a there's a big difference. I don't want to illustrate anything. I want to understand and express what yeah. I understood from the script. So this is the big big difference. That that's really nice. And okay, that was the the question. But I have one about Jason Aaron because yeah. oh okay, I, I already asked this for for Klaus Jensen that made the the Dark Knight with Frank Miller. But I guess it's important to ask you too. When someone says Jason Aaron name, uh, the first thing, uh, the first thing I think it's your name or is it Ribic, you know? So remember <laughs> when sure, someone yeah. when someone remember Jason, it, it, uh, this happens. And when I remember you, uh, I remember Jason Aaron's name. So uh, so what is what is this like for you? You know, uh, have your name associated with his because. Uh, you have your own career that is not just It's, things with him. Uh, I, must, I must explain it to you for real. Uh, I don't know because my work, my vision, my uh, sense of everything that you just asked or said is from behind the curtain. Yeah. Okay? yeah. And you are asking me about in front of the curtain. Yeah. I don't know. To Jason to me is like a brother. It's like a you know, uh, hey man, how are you? You know things like those. It's just a uh, you know. So uh, any any excuse we find, we will work again. Yeah. You know. So uh, so and that's all. Uh, I can't see him. To me, he's not a Jason Aaron. He's my. He's like a family. You know. He's yeah. my. You know. And and uh, so uh, it's like a, somebody said it. It's like a other. It's very nice. The other side of your coin. It's very nice, nicely put. When you find someone, and, and he's, if you if you meet him once or you, you interview him, you see he's different. He talks less. He talks very precisely. He's very, very kind. Yeah. Uh, his uh, voice is soft. His jokes are dry. It's very, I like, you know, yeah. he's a charming guy, but on totally other planet than myself. We're just different guys. And yeah. yet we, we, we work good. I, I like everything. Um, I suppose it's because he is what I'm not, and vice versa. Yeah. You know, I'm. You know, he he likes comics incredibly. He he really he isn't is. talented uh, as a, as an artist, but but he enjoys incredibly the, yeah. the work that we do, and and it shows. It shows. He's just doing things that he would like to see. Yeah. Uh, done by an artist, and this is a you know like like a you know like a present from God, you know. The guy who would like to see what would you do when we worked on <clears throat> Goddamned or whatever, he said, "Well, you know, I, I'd like you to see how will you draw this. You know, this yeah. is what I would like to see." So, and and then you know, it's in vice versa. I always ask him, "Are you happy with it? What do you think about it?" Normally, he would be, and and uh, uh, it's just, uh, you know, I, I think we were lucky. Yeah. About you know, something happened there. Will Dennis calls it. Uh, Kismet, which yeah. is luck. Uh, so we were very lucky. I just that's, hope we we deserved it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that that's perfect. So okay, thank you so much. I yeah. have the only last question to you. That is, um, how tall I am? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how tall you are? That's great. <laughs> meter eighty six. I don't know in in in, in inches. A meter and 86. I'm pretty tall. It's almost 190. It's I, six feet six. I, I I suppose I'm six five or six four six five. I think <laughs> one meter and 86 centimeters. 86. I'm, I'm one meter and 80. So I'm a little little uh, yeah. shorter than you. Okay, you you will grow up with time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, ask me. Ask me whatever you like. Okay. The the last question. What's the worst work you have you've ever made? It's a, a very interesting question. You will be surprised. Uh, uh, I did many many things that were just horrible. You know. <laughs> okay. But I I tried to to not to make my art suffer. I always did a pretty good job of it. Really. But there was a work that I really didn't enjoy. It was just for the money. It was a moment. It, it yeah. was some uh, magazine for horses in Europe mm. called Wendy. And it's, you know, the main drama is that little doggy got sick. <laughs> <laughs> <It> okay. Was, <laughs> it, 
And it was incredible, but you will like the story. Eh? You will like the story. Okay. So I did it for an agency called Egmont. Egmont. I think it's Egmont. Okay. It's like an um, agency. They work all over the world. Lately, I think they're, they're ruined or some, something bad happened to them. I don't know what happened. But they had this, this and it was really, oh, the script. Everything was just, uh, just not a good experience. But incredibly, uh, there, this series called Wendy, they never do anything, any, anything Western because this magazine is selling European saddles. Okay. Okay. It's a magazine for saddles for horses, yeah. and they have comic. You can imagine the the, the low level of the whole thing. Yes. <laughs> so they would very rarely do Western. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know what happened. God looked at me, or I, something happened. But my episode, the only episode I did was about rodeo visiting Europe. Okay. okay. So yeah, great. Okay, I'm, I grew up on Westerns. I do horses and they were like, wow, oh. they, they really liked it and they were impressed. And on th those pages, there was an Indian, two or three pages, Indian with a hat and with horses, an Indian guy, you know, Native American or something, you know. And uh, it was one of the pages that I sent to Will Dennis to Vertigo. Yeah. Showing the way I could ink things. Yeah. And it's very possible that when he saw an Indian and a horse there, yeah. he was like scalped, you know? <laughs> so the worst job I did brought me the best job I had. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it could be, you know, the mysterious ways. It's, 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 it's a funny story, but it's truth. Yeah. You know, and it's, uh, you know, and when Jason was here, I had pretty big exposition here in Spain. And I exposed two or three pages of Wendy of this shit thing. And I told him, look at those pages. And he was like, wow. I said, yeah, yeah, this is the, you know, it, it's very possible that on basis of something that I really hated, yeah, uh, it yeah. brought me, you know, the best thing I had in my, till, till, till date, you know, so life. Yeah. That, that... What are you, now, now about you, what are you studying? What's your school? What, what do you wish to be? Or what's your, oh, tell I, me about yourself. I really don't know. I, I'm, I think I will make some. Uh, movie university I really like movies uh, but you know in Brazil it, it don't give return it don't give money so I guess I, I will have to move to to LA or something like that my my okay. my, my cousin lives in, in LA so it's easier to me so okay, okay I, I guess I guess I will make something like that you know don't stop just don't stop making efforts Yeah. Life is about effort. Don't forget this. Uh, it's I not about to. satisfaction. It's not about happiness. This is for girls, or you know, uh, uh, it's about effort. And and there is no better hobby or better happiness uh, than my work. Yeah, that's beautiful. You know, my work is my best hobby that I have. There is there isn't there is no hobby that can bring me so much fun that my work can be. Yeah. So uh, uh, keep investing. You will not be sorry. Work hard. I, I, life, life is about working hard. Okay? Yeah. I really like to draw, you know, but I, I don't want to work with it, but I really like to draw. So sometimes uh, when when I'm on my holidays, I'm, I take some paper and I, I sit right there, right here, and I, I start to draw in, and When I see it's morning, you know, uh, I started. So I I understand that's that's crazy, right? Because when you when you draw, there's something. Do, do you listen to some music or something like that? Or uh, I do, but lately it's been a few years since I've been listening some. Uh, maybe it's weird, but I uh, YouTube or it's very uh, fan it's fantastic now because you have history channels or biology or yeah. and and I have lists of just classes of people from universities or uh, and it's so interesting because uh, I don't listen to it attentively but yeah. uh, how should I say what I dislike about music and radio from my time it was this pompous uh, 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 vocal that you heard 
from a guy from a radio, like, like, wow, this is a new song. And now <laughs> uh, it was just tiring, so fucking stupid. I can stand this voice. Just put the music and shut the fuck up, you know, yeah. things like that. And I, I enjoy, I, I enjoy music. I have, I'm a musician. I, I was playing in a band. I had a band, you know, a very, almost professional. It was Definitely. really close, this close to be a guitar player and a singer. Oh, nice. And uh, so I do, I have tons of music, but uh, 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 lately it's been two or three years, maybe more, since I'm just listening to just smart people and I enjoy it so much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. People who go further in, in physics or, or philosophy or whatever, anything, you know, I'm just, I, I like to listen lately guys like those professors yeah people who can offer me interesting things and then from time to time i will put some music and it's jazz blues i don't know good uh, rock and blues or i don't know even classical music. i have a lot of classical music i don't like too much novels or audio books of novels i like audio books about theory about philosophy about this I can't stand, but, but but when somebody is reading the novel to me, I I, I, I can't stand it. He's acting like, oh, yeah, yeah, and I, I, I just can't stand it. Yeah. I'm very sens- sensitive to those um, unnatural vocals. I hate uh, doubling doblaje, you know, when they synchronize the voices. Yeah, yeah. It's so, uh, it just makes my stomach hurt. Okay. Uh, because it's 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 not synchronized. How can you stand looking at something and it's not synchronized? The voice is off, and and it's just and and you, uh, I enjoy voices a lot. Yeah. Uh, voice of of Morgan Freeman. You can't. Yeah. You, yeah. There's no person in the fucking world that can do this. But Jean Gabin as well from France, or uh, there is a Francisco Paco Raval from Spain. There is a deep baritone. Orson Welles. It's so it's so rich and so you know and people are, or nuances of of I don't know De Niro in Heat is absolutely amazing because De Niro normally is is an actor who is he can overact sometimes be yeah. too much and in Heat he's like a computer he's very calm very controlled and yeah. my God the way he talks it's always half voice and it's just like amazing yeah. uh, Michael Mann is really good The Last of Mohican shocked me how good it was and then heat came and heat is one of the five crime movies in in in, in history it's just amazing yeah. just incredible movie yeah. did you see heat so guys thank you so much for watching it uh and mr gera where people can find you their social media uh, just the facebook or something i'm trying uh, from time to time i will upload never something serious or very rarely Uh, but uh, I don't know. I'm I'm absent, and I try to be. Yeah. From time to time, I would give interviews or something, so you can look on YouTube or something. But uh, uh, in general, I'm not trying to be so yeah. present in media. You have Facebook, uh, where I from time to time upload things, and uh, I would say something new. I'm going to this festival or that festival, or something like that. But I'm not trying yeah. to be so present. Uh, you know, so. You know, but it, it's it's called Google. You know, click, click, click. Yeah, click. that's okay. Okay. Yeah, but thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank, so, you. So, thank you for much. For, thank. No, oh my God. Thank you so much for watching and see you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks bye, everybody. Guys. Ciao, ciao. Bye, bye. Have a good time.